Welcome to the world of dart patterns. Dart patterns are here to blow your coding mind. A pattern represents the shape of a set of values that it may match against actual values. It allows us to match against the shape of a value. In other words, we are checking if the value matches the pattern. Let's divide patterns into four categories for a detailed discussion. What patterns do where patterns are allowed. What the common use cases for patterns are, types of patterns. First, we will take a look at folder number one, what patterns do. In general, a pattern may match a value, destructure a value, or both, depending on the context and shape of the pattern. First, pattern matching allows us to check if a given value has a certain shape, is a certain constant, is equal to something else, has a certain type. And then pattern destructuring provides us with a convenient declarative syntax to break that value into its constituent parts. The same pattern can also let us bind variables to some or all of those parts in the process. Let's go to number one, pattern matching. A pattern always tests against a value to determine if the value has the form we expect. In other words, we are checking if the value matches the pattern. Let's set the number variable to one and use switch statement. This is a constant pattern saying if number matches one or is equal to one, then print one. Let's run and see it is printing one in console. Patterns match again and again on their subpatterns. For example, here we are initializing an empty list of type string and adding two constants A and B in it. Then we are using switch statement and for its case, we are using list pattern. It says if list pattern A, B matches OBJ. First, if OBJ is a list with two fields, and then, if its fields match the constant subpatterns A and B, then print values of A and B. Let's run, and it will print A and B. Let's go to number two patterns destructuring. Let's initialize numbers list, destructure its elements, and assign them to new variables A, B, and C. Now we can use A, B, and C. Let's print the addition of all three variables. We can nest any kind of pattern inside a destructuring pattern. For example, this case pattern matches and destructures a two element list whose first element is A or B, and second variable is any string. It is Z'd in our case. It means the pattern matches, and we are printing the second variable. Secondly, we are going to folder number two, where patterns are allowed. Here we will see the places where patterns can appear. Let's go to number one variable declaration. We can use a pattern variable declaration anywhere. Dart allows local variable declaration. The pattern matches against the value on the right of the declaration. Once matched, it destructures the value and assign it to the new local variable. A pattern variable declaration must start with either var or final, followed by a pattern. Here we are printing all variables declared using pattern. Let's go to number two variable assignment. Let's use a variable assignment pattern to swap the values of two variables without declaring a third temporary one. First, it destructures the matched object. Then it assigns the values to existing variables instead of binding new ones. Let's print A and B. Next, let's go to number three, switch statement. We can use patterns in switch statements also. Here we are initializing object, first and last variable. We are using here different cases. First case is, if object is equal to one, then print one. Second case is, if the value of object is between the constant values of first and last variables. Third case is, if object value is nine or 10. Fourth case is, if object value is four and values of first and last variables are equal. Fifth case is, if object is a record with two fields, then assigns the fields to A and B, it is printing one because this case matches. Let's go to number the four for loop. We can use patterns in for and for in loops to iterate over and destructure values in a collection. The object pattern checks that list entries has the named type map entry and then repeats into the named field subpatterns key and value. It calls the key getter and value getter on the map entry in each iteration and assigns the results to local variables key and count, respectively here. Binding the result of a getter call to a variable of the same name is a common use case. This allows us to simplify the variable pattern from something redundant, like key colon key, to just colon key. Both for loops has same output still. Let's go to folder number three use cases for patterns. Inside this folder, we are going to number one, destructuring multiple returns. Records in Dart 3 allow returning multiple values from a single function call. Let's create a method which returns multiple values name as string and age as int in a record and it accepts a map of type string and dynamic now we are going to initialize json map we individually declare new local variables for each record field like this but it is a long method let use its alternate we can destructure the fields of a record that a function returns into local variables using a variable declaration or assignment pattern 
and a record pattern as its subpattern. Let's go to number two, destructuring class instances. Let's create a foo named class with parameter one and two and default constructor. To destructure an instance of a class, use the name type followed by parameters to destructure enclosed in parentheses. Let's go to number the three validating JSON. Map and list patterns work well for destructuring key value pairs in JSON data. Let's create a JSON here. If we know that the JSON data has the structure we expect, and if data comes from internet, we need to validate it first to confirm its structure. Without patterns, validation is verbose like you can see here. A single case pattern can achieve the same validation. Single cases work best as if case statements. Patterns provide a more declarative and much less verbose method of validating JSON. This case pattern simultaneously validates that JSON is a map because it must first match the outer map pattern to proceed. And since it's a map, it also confirms JSON is not null. JSON contains a key user. The key user pairs with a list of two values. The types of the list values are string and int. The new local variables to hold the values are string and int. We are printing name and age inside it. Let's go to folder number four, pattern types. Let's open number zero, precedence order, which is actually a readme file. Similar to operator precedence, pattern follows precedence rules. Operator precedence in Dart is a set of rules that determines the order in which operators are evaluated in an expression. This document lists the pattern types in ascending order of precedence. Operator which has higher precedence will be solved first logical or patterns are lower precedence than logical and logical and patterns are lower precedence than relational patterns and so on. We can use parenthesized patterns to evaluate lower precedence patterns first. Let's open number sugar one rest element. Rest element is used in list pattern. Let's initialize list one, destructure it, and then print A, B, and C. Let's initialize list two. List patterns can contain one rest element. Its symbol is three dots, which allows matching lists of arbitrary lengths. First three elements will be assigned to D, E, F, and last element will be assigned to G. This underscore symbol is a wildcard that doesn't assign to any variable. It's useful as a placeholder in places where we need a subpattern in order to destructure later positional values. Here, third element is skipped using wildcard and we are assigning fourth element to j and last element to k. Next, three dots with rest variable is used to list all numbers which don't match with other subpatterns. A rest element collects elements that don't match the other subpatterns in the list into a new list like this. Let's open number two list. We are using switch statement with case keyword and also with its shorthand syntax. We are using here list pattern, both have the same output. So this is how to use patterns in Dart to match and destructure values and make our code more concise and expressive. If you have any questions, leave me in the comments. See you in the next video.